Okay, we're getting ready to introduce part five in the God Deeds mindset, and it's going to be kind of sophisticated, so I want to introduce it a little bit um, by showing this keyword. It's really important. The keyword, unfortunately, I'm using BibleWorks 8 to show it, and I can't get the mouse color, the highlight color to be right, but it's this word here, hooperballing. Okay? In the lower corner, lower um, window, you're seeing Thayer mostly and BDAG. Wait a minute, I got it. Okay, this is the, the lexicon. And BibleWorks 8 works a little bit differently from BibleWorks 5. So, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on that. But this is Thayer, this is Freiburg, this is Bauer Danker which is the Bauer Danker is considered the most important. It isn't always, but it's considered that way. And then this is um, Liddell Scott, Lunita. And then this is Lehman. You have to pay for this as a separate article, I think. And this is the um, EDNT. All on the same word. This is Gingrich. That's the guy that's the G and B DAG. And this is not the larger Liddell Scott dictionary on it. You get more lexicons in BibleWorks 8 if you're willing to pay for them. And I bought them all. I think I bought them all. Meant to. All right. What this word is saying, who pair right here, means over. It ends up meaning on behalf of. Bowling, mean, bole is, is, it means to throw. Balo is what it comes from as the verb. So overthrow, surpass, be on top of. And Paul is using that literally here. It's translated more excellent, and yet it has that qualitative meaning, but Paul's making a pun on, let me get rid of the window here. See, this is 1 Corinthians 12. We all know that's about the body. Okay, so he's saying that the, the what surpasses the body is the head. That's what's on top of. That's what's over. The head is over the body. Hooper bowling. He's making a play. The Greek reader would get that immediately and laugh. But you lose all the humor because they translate it idiomatically, so you're missing Paul's point. Paul's point is that Christ is the head, and it's Christ who's called love here. It's really important. For the, what I'm going to say next in the next increment, you got to know that. A lot of Calvinists understand this little joke here that Paul's making, and they know that love means the head, Christ. The head surpasses the body. Paul just finished talking about the body, and now he's going to talk about the head. The head being completed, canon. Being completed. All right? That's what 1 Corinthians 13 is talking about. It is not talking about the human emotion of love. So if you are uneducated about this joke here that he's making, which you will be if you can't read the Greek or you're not taught it, then you won't know what he's talking about here. You'll mistake it for some feeling you think you have that you call love, and he's not talking about that. He's talking about the completion of the head for the sake of the body, meaning Christ, which went ahead. See the pun? And so now the body is being completed to follow the head who's already up in heaven. It's really important. You cannot understand the book of Hebrews if you don't understand this. Because the book of Hebrews is playing on this. It's talking about why the covenant changed to church. And Paul is explaining that. He's starting the explanation here. It's sort of been a theme of his. So that's the point to make. This so-called more excellent way is surpassing on top of Hooper bowling. Hooper over 
Bolain means throw, overthrow, on top of. You know, throwing something over the top of something. Okay, well, what's on top of the body? The head. It's very funny. And he's that's been his theme since 1 Corinthians 1, 5, where he's talking about Christ's words in your words. That's the spiritual life. That's what this whole article, this whole book is about. Okay? So he's now going to say why Christ's head in your head is better than works. If I speak with the tongues of mortals and angels but don't have what? Love, his head in my head. Then I'm just making so much noise. Okay? If I have all kinds of prophetic powers. Now he's declaring, you know, comparing it to other words that are actually the word of God. And I understand all mysteries. That means hidden truth and knowledge. That means knowledge about the Bible. And I have all faith. That means faith is pistis. That means the content of scripture. So now he's even comparing Christ's head to scripture itself. But I don't have the head of Christ. In other words, scripture that's in the Old Testament and this interim scripture that at the time he's talking, everybody's getting, is not the complete head of Christ. You first have to have the complete head of Christ in your own head or it's no good. In other words, scripture on the page isn't enough. You have to have it in your head. That's the theme of his whole letter. Okay? And then he says, I am nothing. This is Greek word uten, and it's an Attic Greek word, so he's stressing it. That's classical Greek. That's like using high English. Okay? I am nothing. Nothing at all. Uten. John will key off that word in the Gospel of John. His whole Gospel is built around uten, and then here's the other word, uden, which is the common word for nothing. And the Gospel of John is built around those two words. He constantly uses versions of those concepts and those words to build his gospel. So he's playing back to Paul, saying that he's completing canon. Now, that's a sophisticated thing, but you, I, I want you to see that there is something to this thing I'm trying to tell you. That you can actually prove it by other books in the Bible. The book of Hebrews talks back to this passage, and so does the whole all of John's books. He's building on what Paul says here on purpose because John knows he's writing the last books of the canon. Okay? Now, there's one more thing i got to say about this before I close this segment. If I hand over my body that I may boast, that is the correct translation of that section. Unfortunately, okay, most of the Bibles of this verse, verse number 3, get it wrong and they get it wrong because this letter here see calcasomai means to boast but they're looking at a misspelling in their own bible texts this is calcasomai instead of calcasomai calcasomai didn't exist in Paul's day it was a pres it was a subjunctive a past a future passive subjunctive Paul, there was no such thing when Paul was writing, so that's how come we know that that the you know the scriptures that they got has that has a little typo in their verse. So it does not mean to be burned. This is wrong. Okay, yet all these Bibles, including the King James, this is the New America. This is the the you know the NASB. This is the King James. They're all wrong. Body to the flames is the NIV. It's also wrong. I don't know what the ETH is. Okay? These are newer Bibles. Okay? They're all wrong. Okay? And they're, the reason they're wrong is they're copying the Latin right here. The Latin is saying to be burned. Ardeam. Ut ardeam. That means to be burned. Right here. That's the Latin for in order to be burned. So they're copying the Vulgate. They're not looking at the actual Greek text, or they're looking at a misspelled Greek text. So see, they all say burned, but they're wrong. That's not that 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 phrase did not exist in Paul's day. You didn't have a present future a future passive subjunctive of that verb when Paul was alive. That's how we know that it's a misspelling. Okay. See, so this one, the CSB, well, that's the Holman Bible, gets that part of it right. 
This is Darby, and it gets it wrong. This is another Darby, so of course it gets it wrong. I don't know what the ERV is, but it gets it wrong. This is the ESV, which everybody's touting. The ESV is wrong. This is the Geneva, and you can understand why the Geneva would get it wrong if they didn't have access to the good manuscripts. This is GD, GWN, I don't know what that is, that's wrong. This is the MIT Bible, and it gets it right. This is the New American Bible, and it happens to get this phrase right, but it gets a lot of other things wrong. Okay, again, this is the New American Standard, it gets it wrong. This is the Net Bible, and it gets it right. Okay, this is the British version of the New, Mer New International Version, and it gets it wrong. Okay, this, the NIRV gets it wrong. New Jerusalem Bible is copying from the Vulgate because that's another Catholic Bible. It gets it wrong. Okay, the NLT is usually a crappy translation, but they do understand that it's both. Okay, this is not at all the right translation. They're missing Paul's point. It's not about others. It's not about loving others. It's about having love, Christ, in your head. That was introduced in 1 Corinthians 12, 31 with Hooper Bali. That's why I have to do this part of this video. Okay. The New King James, wrong. Okay. The NRS, which is a translation I'm using for what you're going to see next in the next increment, is right. Okay. And then you got the PNT, which is, I don't know what kind of Bible that is, but that's wrong. Here's the RSV. That's wrong. The NRS fixed it. See, this is the Revised Standard. This is the New Revised Standard. So they found their error and they fixed it. This is Webster's Bible. He's got it wrong. So see, it was even wrong when Webster did his own translation. The TNIV gets it right. So that's in contrast to the NIV. So the newer, T, the newer uh, New International Version gets it right. Okay. The TNT gets it wrong. The Web Bible gets it wrong, and of course, Young's literal translation gets it wrong. So it's real important to stress that. Satan's really clever, okay? All he has to do is change one letter here. This is caucasomai. It means to boast. It does not mean to be burned. And the people who did Bible works understood which is the you know correct Greek text to use, okay? But all these Bibles, to this day, they've known about this text. This is this is the the NA NA 27. Okay, well it's been the same text really for a while. Nestle Island was you know last century. How come they don't know this now? Why don't they fix their translation now? Because they don't. So now all of a sudden you're gonna miss what Paul's talking about, the boasting of works. And burning your body is not what he even said. So Satan can throw you off to understand what he's talking about. And then he throws you off also because it's translated more excellent way. You don't see the word play on the head. <clears throat> okay, now, when I introduce the next video, it's next so-called video, it's going to be audio only. And what you're going to see on screen is that all throughout the audio. You're just going to see that so that you know that it's just audio only. You don't even have to look at the screen. But I wanted you to understand why that's going to be showing up there and why I'm using the NRS translation. It's not entirely right, but it's pretty literal and that's what you need to look at is literal. I wish they had translated this literally, but they didn't. So now you know where this is wrong and you know that it's really boast right here so that you get a better sense of what I'm going to say in the next increment. Peace out.